Hashmawi. I am a visual artist and I am the artist in residency for the Al Qasimi Foundation. I've been doing the residency for six months and I created a collection of work that is dedicated to the Emirati um, artisans and handicrafts. So in my artistic practice, I tend to use traditional material and juxtapose that with my contemporary style. And together, I try to create something that has uh, an influence from the traditional and the modern. And I'm very much an artist that has a so strong sense of observation. So I try to take influences and inspiration from the community and society and from that I try to add that into my contemporary work. So for the foundation when I started my artist in residency, uh, a lot of it was more about research and let's say it was more of a cultural exchange where I tried to engage with the community, engage with its people, and a lot of the work was coming from inspiration from the people and about the people, and it was art for the people. Um, I had the luxury of meeting a lot of artisans within the community, so whether it was the women that were doing the hose, or whether it was women who were doing a sadhu, which is a traditional kind of weaving, I got the chance to talk to them, learn from them, um, as well as I got to meet um, pearl divers in the Swede farm, and that was all such a beautiful experience in terms of cultural exchange. And from that, from those resources, from that research and talking and having conversations with them, I got to spark these ideas which led to a collection of work, which was called Reliving, uh, an homage to traditional um, traditional handicrafts in modern society and those those artworks were then featured for the Russell Khema Fine Arts Festival. I'd say the process was the process was quite an experience which I enjoyed a lot and I think that says a lot about my artist in residency um, and that's the whole part of the program right it's not about creating your work in the studio and that's it and then you just showcase it it's about engaging with the community, understanding the environment you're in, and you're in a space that's unfamiliar, so the best part of the process was getting to learn. I'd say a lot of the residency experience was more educational, and from that you feed off of that new knowledge and you're able to get inspired and create works that are beyond your means. Like That's a part of the challenge, so the process was, was very social, and educational um, and it definitely it definitely had a huge impact on the artworks because it put I put a lot of effort in terms of what I gained from the people and it felt relatable and it felt close and very personal. The fact that the foundation has this program, the artist in residency program is is a huge benefit to artists and I think if it wasn't for that I wouldn't get to understand the community of Rasul Khima. So there's so much it has to offer and the foundation opens doors to that for you where you get to learn about the culture aspect of Rasul Khima but also you get to meet the team, you get to meet the people and see how much effort they're putting into trying to promote the arts and the art world and emerging artists like myself and how they can go out into the community, support you, support you whether it be a studio or financially or putting you in touch with the right people. That was all such a benefit as an artist because sometimes I think it's really hard for artists to get out into the world and not have the right support or resources for them to gather information and to create their own pieces. Make, make the environment feel like your home and the more that you make it feel like your home and not be afraid to engage with the people, get to know them, that, that's going to bring out the best of your work. I think artists, artists see what other people don't and when you get to go around and see things, meet people, um, it's amazing how much you can observe and take inspiration from and add that to your work.